If you were watching this video, I'm assuming you have a chat form added to your website and you would like to do conversion tracking for that chat form. Meaning that when people fill their info to your chat form and click submit, an event, a conversion event would be sent to tools like Google Analytics, Google Analytics 4, and perhaps Meta Pixel or Facebook Pixel in uh, uh, Facebook Pixel um, Business Manager, and perhaps something like Google Ads conversion. So maybe you have even created a conversion like I have created submit lead form conversion for my chat form, but it's still inactive. I'm not receiving events when this is submitted. So this video is both a advertisement for my product, which solves this problem in the best way possible, but it's also kind of a tutorial on how to use it. So you will actually know what you're getting. So if you want to track chat form conversions, get my product and you will be all set. So I will now demonstrate how it works. Here I have an empty Google Tag Manager container. So the way to install my product is really easy. You just go to admin and you click import container, choose container file and you will choose the file you have downloaded when you purchased my conversion tracker product. Click open, just add it to your existing uh, container, choose merge, rename, it doesn't really matter but it's nicer that way. Just click confirm and that's pretty much it. You need to add a few IDs, but other than that, you are now tracking chat form conversions. So the IDs are just simple things like getting your measurement ID from Google Analytics and copy pasting it to Google Tag Manager for the chat form uh, conversion tag. And then doing the same thing for Metapixel, just grab the ID from Facebook Business Manager and add it as the Facebook Pixel ID here in variables. I've already said it, but that's the way to make sure that the conversion is sent to your Facebook Pixel and not mine. The last one is the Google Ads conversion, which is as simple as going to Google Ads going to your conversion that you have created for job form uh, bookings, then grabbing the conversion ID and the conversion label from Google Analytics into Google Tag Manager. So these match. So just a couple of copy pastes takes under a couple of minutes. Okay, a few minutes later, we are ready to test and make sure that our job form conversions are being recorded. So you will just click preview here. Connect by copy pasting your website here. Click connect. So we are all set now. We're just running a test to make sure. So I'm going to make a test booking. Just fill a random email here and click submit. Here in Tag Assistant, we can see that my setup is doing everything, the tags, the triggers, the data layer, the listener, the JavaScript custom code, all that is done for you. You will just, you won't have to do anything except install it. So here we can see that chat form submitted. My trigger was fired and it fired these three tags, the Google Analytics, the Google, sorry, Google Ads, Google Analytics and the Metapixel. Okay, so let's take a look at Google Analytics. Here I'm in the debug view where we can see in real time the events that we are being uh, tracking. And here we can see that it received the chat form submit because of my setup. So when we click this, we can see the page title, which is my website. Chat form ID is the unique ID of your chat form. And this is also handled automatically. So you will be able to see which chat form was submitted. If you take a look at this, the 356 is how this ID ends. And it's the same as in Google Analytics. So this is all fully automatic. I've coded it for you. 
Next, we'll go to Facebook Business Manager, in Data Sources, and in Test Events. So we are able to see the Facebook events that are being tracked. So if we zoom and take a look at this lead event, this was the chat form submission. So it has category of chat form submissions and the content name is the chat form with the ID. So you are able to create custom conversions here based on the uh, category or just make all leads conversions for an easy way. Next, let's, let's take a look at Google Ads. Okay, here we can see that the chat form demo conversion looks like it's inactive, so it's not yet verified. But that was before I did my uh, submission. So let's refresh Google Ads conversions view to see that the chat form conversion was or also received and it has turned from inactive to no recent conversions. So a really easy way to track jot form submissions, which is which is really hard to do. So just get my little plugin, import it to your Google Tag Manager, and you will be tracking your jot form conversions the easy way. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you buy my little plugin.